Welcome to Science, Health and Healing Library of Children's Health Core. I'm Dr. Majid Ali. The subject of this article is the oxygen model of cancer, part two, evolution of the model. By pure coincidence, the very first paper that I published in the peer-reviewed prestigious journal was the journal for cancer, and it was a paper about liver cancer. I think that was sometimes 1975 or possibly 1976. In 1983, I published a monograph the spontaneity of oxidation in nature and aging, in which I proposed my model that aging and all diseases related to aging, as well as those not related to aging, were triggered, perpetuated, intensified by oxidative stress. And of course, the primary oxidative driver in human biology is oxygen. I started focusing on cancer much more closely. During the 1980s, I published a series of books. My co-authors were Professor Alfred Fiamme of Mount Sinai School of Medicine. I was at that time at Columbia University in New York. So those ideas were heavily influenced by the academic environment at Columbia University and Mount Sinai School of Medicine. Dr. Evelyn Braun was the other pathologist in our department who contributed significantly to this effort. So, and as a chief pathologist, I not only made the diagnosis of cancer myself, at that time, probably in those earlier years, something like 15 or 20,000 cancers. But I also supervised the diagnosis of probably a larger number of cancers at our hospital as a chief pathologist. I may tell you that in the 29 years that I was at that hospital, conservatively speaking, I diagnosed more than 100,000 cancers myself and supervised the diagnosis of probably more than 150,000 other cancers by my associate pathologists. I give you some information about background so you can get a sense of the basis and the evolution of my oxygen model of cancer. I published an article on the biology of cancer and the molecular energetic basis of cancer about 15 or so years ago in a series of articles. I then also wrote two volumes of my cancer book. The first is the DISOX model of cancer and the second is oxygen protocol for treatment of cancer. Now, for professional readers, I would suggest the 12th volume of my textbook, The Principles and Practice of Integrated Medicine. In that book, I not only include the original series of my articles on cancer, but a large number of other chapters in which I provide fundamental information about the bioenergetics of oxygen-driven bioenergetics of cell health and absence of cell health and the beginning of cancer. That book is available as an immediate instant download from my website majidali.com. Please look at the other segments of this series, The Oxygen Model of Cancer. I chose to include this series on the channel of Children's Health Core 
because one of these segments is devoted to a very hot rending prediction that I have had to make, which is I anticipate an epidemic of cancer in children in the next 25 years or so. And in various segments of this series, I give you my reasons why. No, it's not fear mongering. It's a simple, sad, but true statement of facts based on my nearly 45 years of study of cancer. As a pathologist, as a surgeon, as a nutritionist, as an integrative physician, and also as the practitioners of energy medicine. Look at part one, the oxygen model of cancer, part one basics, and it will tell you that the two core points of this model are number one, you cannot understand the cause of cancer unless you understand the fundamental role of oxygen dysfunction in the genesis of cancer. This view is at deep variance with the prevailing genetic model of cancer. And the second, of course, is that I do not believe that the treatment of any cancer can be considered complete unless you detect and effectively address all oxygen-related issues relevant to that case. Children's Health Corps was funded and founded by Talat, my wife, and I some years ago. Our vision and mission is to provide authentic information of relevance to children's health, focusing on issues of nutrition, environment, and thoughts, for children, parents, grandparents, teachers, public policy makers, please visit our website www.kids123.org where a very large number of articles on this subject and other subjects of interest. Until we meet again, may you be gracious, graceful, and generous in your spirit. We would deeply, deeply be grateful to you for your participating participation in our vision. And just go to that website and it will give you some suggestions. Until we meet again, may you be gracious, graceful, and generous in your spirit. Thank you.